What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Friday morning. Running a little bit behind schedule now. I stopped and talked to a neighbor. Uh, old guy at the start of our neighborhood there. He's an interesting fella. He's like in his 80s or fixing to be 80. Or, I, I forget all the time. I forget easy. But he's interesting. Good guy. His wife's a good person. And uh, they're out there going all the time. We call them the yard people. And, uh, you know, and you get to talking about age and life and, you know, different things sometimes with these people. And it's not easy, you know. Getting older is not easy, guys. Doesn't matter how much we try to sugarcoat it and, you know, try to make it fun. Getting old is not great. Usually with age comes, you know, injuries and sicknesses and, and heartbreak and a lot of different stuff in our lives. And, uh, you know, imagine, you know, you see these young people in their teens and 20s, you know, now imagine being 30s or 40s and then 50s and 60s and then so on and so on. And, you know, all the stuff that you kind of go through in life, it just... It's crazy. Then we got to talking about, you know, time and age and, and all that and how it goes by and how really, you know, I brought up to him that, you know, even a person that's 100 years old isn't actually old considering, you know, when you take time into consideration, 100 years is nothing. You know, our planet's billions of years old. 100 years ain't even noticed in that time. It's nothing. We're here and gone before you even matter, really, if that's the way I want to put it. I mean, I guess some of us matter, but I think you know what I'm saying. It's a short, short life. And a lot of lives are cut even shorter. When, most of us are not going to even make it to 70, much less 100. And you look at that. Look at how old you are. Where are you at on that spectrum, on that timeline? It goes quick, guys. I'm still 10 years old. Literally. There's days when I'm, I'm 10, I'm still 10. My brain works that way, I don't know. I know as far as like growing up, you know, mentally, I'm not the same as I was at those at younger ages. I've grown, I've, you know, I've been through a lot more. Things, things change, definitely. But technically, I don't think I've even made it past 30. It's hard for me to even comprehend that I'm past 30. And then you look at reality and it's like, well, Mike, you're over 20 years past 30. I'm still looked at as young Mike, as the baby of the family and you know, the goofball, the, you know, the strong guy, the athlete, the, I'm not really an athlete, but you get what I'm saying. I'm just looked at as kind of a certain way. And it's really weird 
when you're like you're the old guy. I'm old now. <laughs> and you can't say, well, you're only as old as you feel. I mean, that only goes so far. You know. I am old. I'm young to some people. I'm young to my neighbor that I talk to. <laughs> he still thinks I'm young, so I told him, yeah, to everybody, you know, we're young to somebody, all of us. And he's like, well, I'm running out of that time. I'm running out of people that are older than me. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you can say that. There comes a time when we are pretty much at our peak of oldness. Life ain't easy. It's a, it's not for the weak minded at all. And I'm not gonna sit here day in and day out on these videos and pretend like I'm strong mentally because that's one of my downfalls is I've kind of let problems beat me down mentally. So that's kind of one of my problems. I'm strong. I can pull through things. But, you know, marriage problems over the years, bad marriage problems over the years beat you down then you get kid you know when you're you know you might have kids and there might be problems there and then you got parents dying and other family members dying and friends dying and and you might have injuries and ailments that are kicking you down and let's face it the world has changed a lot and that kicks you down a lot of things kick you down getting back up is part of the process but it ain't always easy is it supposed to be easy I don't know is it supposed to be really difficult you know I think that's another question is everything supposed to be that difficult? I don't think so. Just how it ends up. This decision that we've made to sell our house and and this house that we're that we pretty much have now. Here I am at fixing to be 52 and I know that I'm making a mistake and if I could go back a week I wouldn't make that mistake <laughs> but it's too late papers are signed and things are done and uh, I, I know that I'm making a mistake technically just no fun when you you know you're doing something stupid and you do it it's like these people jumping out of planes with no parachutes yeah but we can hook up with this other person and land safely sometimes sometimes your plan don't work out sometimes you land flat on your face So, you know, there's a lot you can learn and experience in life, not just by listening to older people, but by being a part of the conversation, sharing your thoughts and opinions, your experiences, along with theirs, along with lots of listening. I wish 
that I would have spent more time listening to my grandma, listening to my mom, talking to him a little more, sharing things and being more open about stuff like just life and, you know, how you, you know, what's your take on it and how are you feeling and just kind of open up and have good conversation with people. Really get to know people. You know, we know our parents and our grandparents and stuff like that really as just parents and grandparents. A lot of times we don't really know them. You know, we don't really know people that we should know. And time moves on, guys, and before long, you don't get the chance to know these people. I didn't have a dad. Technically, I had a dad, but never had a dad. None of us did, none of my siblings. We never had dads. I wish that, you know, because I know that he wasn't much into it, but I wish that I would have gotten to know him a little better. Taking time to just be the one to call him up and just talk to him or something. Sometimes I think that, and then other times I'm like, don't really care. <laughs> he wasn't a bad person. He was just a stupid man, making stupid decisions, not to be connected with his kids, you know, start another family, all that kind of, you know how it is. I ain't getting into all that crap. <laughs> That's all too common with people, men and women. It's not just a man thing. Plenty of females out there that are abandoning families. So. so anyway, this weekend, I have a couple of projects, a couple of goals that I want to achieve as far as getting some stuff, more stuff packed up. I want to at least achieve those couple of things. Uh, by the way, our offer on this new house was accepted. Uh, pending inspection, uh, we're, have, we're calling up the inspector today and having him go out there when he can, as soon as he can to really inspect things. I mean, we already know a couple of things that's got to be fixed. And uh, I'm not totally happy with our decision. I've already mentioned that. You know. Anyway, it's like I said, you, you regret things in life and you're going to always regret things in life even though you know better you're always going to regret that stuff. I guess I need to get used to that. So, yeah, outside of getting a couple of projects done and making sure we contact people to get stuff set up and going, and you know, outside of those things, I guess it's just a normal weekend. I'll enjoy my time off and Enjoy my cheat day Saturday. And, uh, <sighs> life. It's full of tough choices, isn't it? What's that from? You leave in the comments what that's from. <sighs> oh, an update. Just a little talking about my workout. Of course, yesterday I did deadlifts. Uh, and I only went up to 225. 
and uh, just another update on my hand situation man i can't recommend powder enough <laughs> whether you use powder or you use baking powder baking soda whatever or you use chalk or whatever it is whatever you can put on your hands that makes your hands dry you know how much pain I was in and I've been in pain now for a while with that left hand I feel nothing there's no pain at all <laughs> it's not aggravating it at all that's crazy so yesterday my goal was to do 225 for 30 reps well I didn't get that I got a set of 20 and then I did another set of 20 which I'm still happy with that's still good especially compared to what I've been doing over the past few months as far as reps go and as far as ease goes it was easy as far as my grip my grip didn't stop me at all none my hamstrings <laughs> were were starting to slow me down I thought that I was gonna have a night of hamstring cramps very happy that I did not uh, but my hamstrings are feeling it still today for sure and they felt it yesterday during the workout <laughs> even so there was no necessarily domes it was right nows <laughs> it was the right now feelings so yeah I haven't done reps like that in a long time because I just couldn't do it I couldn't hold on to the bar anymore that gold bond medicated powder and I don't you can use whatever powder you want I reckon and again use chalk Whew, made the difference so anyway guys thanks for hanging in there with me if you watched all this and if not well thanks anyway life is a journey ups and downs good decisions bad decisions and I'm telling you right now you're gonna make them all the way to your 50s and I know people older than me who are still making them it's just part of the game having said that guys girls mini pearls naked squirrels like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down where every day is some sort of a life lesson but do we learn get up get out get red do it to it See you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!